Yeah, we received an email from the developers of a game called Lumina. Lumina. And um, I contacted them and said uh, uh, I would be happy to play it, see what it goes, uh, see how it goes. So this game is out on Steam on is it Saturday the 9th. Um, sorry, I really shouldn't eat. Um, so this is out a week is yesterday on the Wednesday, Wednesday the 9th of October. I don't know why I thought Saturday was the 9th. Um, so to read um, some backstory for this, um, Lumina is a first person puzzle game where you use lasers to escape a pyramid. As an archaeologist, in 1920, you find an enormous forgotten pyramid in the desert. The Lost Pyramid of Kainifer, I think is how it's pronounced. After setting camp nearby, you decide to start the exploration. It is too late when you realize that you got trapped in the pyramid. The only escape are locked gates that will open with colored light. You will have to use your skills to, com to combine, split, and reflect beams of light using mirrors and prisms while avoiding the ancient dangers that are buried deep in the pyramid. Will you manage to steal the hidden treasures and make it out alive without awakening dark forces that were meant to be remain forgotten? Will we? That's a good question. Um, who is this game for? Did you enjoy games such as Talos Principle, Portal, The Turing Test, Cube, and The Witness? Then Lumina is right up your alley. Well, I certainly enjoyed uh, three of the, uh, four of those five. I haven't played Cube, but I've watched Cube, so I know what Cube is about. So, um, yeah, this uh, should be right on my street. I actually thought it was more like uh, Rethink, which is a game where you kind of split and reflect light beams using cubes. Um so yeah, I think uh, inspiration's possibly from there as well. Excuse me. Is there a story? Yes, the game includes a story inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's works and two endings, depending on how you behave. Interesting. Who is making Lumina? Lumina is being developed by Gemrose Ascent, a small indie studio from around the world, UK, France, and Singapore. Features, solve the puzzles left by ancient civilizations using mirrors and prisms to combine, split and bounce beams of light. Sorry, Chuns, not watching tonight. Explore the lost pyramid of Kainifer, delve into the depths of the pyramid and uncover the terrible secrets of the pyramid. 18 handcrafted levels being increasing difficulty to put your mind to work. Will you manage to uncover the game's additional secret levels and hidden areas? Danger increases as you go deeper and deeper in the sealed tombs. Two endings depending on your behavior as an archaeologist. Secret scorpion AI technology to give extra life to the scorpions in the desert. I have no idea what that means at all. I have no idea. Um, looking at the trailer, I watched the YouTube trailer um, earlier on today, and it kind of looks like at points there are potentially um, enemies of some description. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the enemies have used. Um, obviously, in puzzle games, I think a lot of the time, general consensus is, um, while it's fine to have enemies if they're part of a puzzle, and they're used in a good way, almost like the turrets are in the main Portal 2 campaign, then um, they're not a bad thing to have in your games and puzzles. Um, but the minute they start kind of like attacking players when people are like trying to work things out, or if you're put under a time constraint, or if you just kind of walk into a room and like there's just like insta death, then obviously um, that's not so great um, design. But uh, we'll see. We will see. So. Finish this chunk of chocolate. So I think we're all ready to go. Um, there are 18 levels, I guess. Each with a different kind of like hieroglyphic. Um, we can't skip forward levels either. Um, but yeah, there is Discord server, all that sort of jazz. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. 14th day of the walk in Sahara, Egypt, 1920, we departed from Abu Simbel and went deep, went west, deep into the desert, as an old map indicated. Yesterday at 4am, a sandstorm awake, awoke us, and in the chaos and the dust, my guide, Al-Hazard, disappeared. After walking without directions in the dense wind of sand, I lost consciousness. When I awoke, the winds had settled down, and I was in front of the wonders of wonders, the lost pyramid of Kainifa, the mad pharaoh. I finally found it. 
Oh, this game is built in uh, Unreal Engine, just in case you're wondering. So, hopefully everything will work pretty nicely, so... Okay, movement seems it's a little bit fast, if I'm completely honest. So I guess we have a finite number of mirrors and things during the um, during the game. It's the Lost Pyramid. How far can we... Uh, that's a big pyramid. It's got, uh, seems like it goes for quite a way. Which is... Uh, interesting, to say the least. Maybe another standstorm will start in a minute and I'll uh, get transferred back to where I uh, came from originally. Wow, there's... Uh, this desert sure does go on quite a bit. know if there is anything to find out here. I think it just goes on and on and on. Jeez. Maybe I should have gone that way. There's like a building over there. Can I get to the top of this sand dune? I like exploring, so... You never know what you might find when you uh, begin exploring. Oh wow, it's like a whole another place over there. I don't know if I can get over there, but... It's like a whole other kind of whole civilization over there. I just assumed like this hill, this crest here, would be like a skybox. I didn't expect it to just keep going and going and going. It's quite mad, really. And still it goes. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's um, let's not walk back all that way. Let's just reset and uh, let's head towards the pyramid, shall we? Uh, okay. Not really sure what those sounds are all about. All right. Turn back this pyramid must remain sealed. Okay. Wow, that got uh, that got dark all of a sudden. It's 
going on, Hanky? Welcome on stream, my man. We just had like a... We just had a moment where he was just kind of... Um, taking in the scenery. Come on, we can just like... We can walk forever. Alright, well. We've fallen. Looks like my torch is broken. That ain't so good. Well. If it wasn't broken before, it definitely is now. Hello. There's a scorpion. Right, well. Scorpion's not going to attack me, at least. Let's translate to these hieroglyphics. We stared too hard into Amun-Ra's light and failed to see the shadows. Okay. Uh, we got some... Uh, Wall stuff there. I don't know if you're meant to be able to see that. I don't think it really makes sense, but um, okay. All right, so we can take them and we can change the distance using the scroll wheel. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure about the uh, the movement there of the mirrors and stuff. Okay, so I can't take them. I was trying to be clever. But there's something about doing that with the mouse is a little bit just feels a bit clunky maybe it's some did I just I'm sorry Scorpion I didn't mean to do it I didn't mean to step on you, step on you and crush you I'm sorry man alright well is that level 1? I got a thing. Okay, so that's kind of telling me that um, we can mix colors, I guess. Do you move? I guess not. Let's translate some more stuff. Them shadows. Alright. Um, the architect warned us a secretive group of wise men was formed. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Oh wow, you can actually block the lasers with yourself. That might be that might be interesting to know for later on. Okay. Is that level two? I'm 
I'm guessing um, those mixed colours as well. Um, potentially later on, we're not going to have colour panels. We're going to have symbol panels, and we're going to have to look at this. And um, so if I look at that, yeah. So red is the snake. Okay, I guess maybe not even that complex. I thought maybe a bit down the line, maybe we would just end up seeing symbols rather than colours. But um, Carnefa taught the people to harness the light of Amunra. Um, okay, I, I think the, the the translating it's a cool idea, but it's a bit slow, and um, a lot of the time. She's writing here, and the writing's over here, so... Or we are, even. Maybe not a she. I think, I think we're a she. Not sure. Um, well, I'll take that. Die, scorpions. I don't know anything else to... Uh, anything else to take here? Why would I need... Why would I need two for? I have a hunch that we might want to place this one over here. It's just a hunch. I have to say it's I feel it's quite no, it just feels quite difficult to position these mirrors and know where to put them Can I take that? No. Okay. Okay, well, it's, um, like I said, I had the hunch that we had to swap these round. Turns out my hunch was right. Alright, so, yeah. Like I said in my kind of... Um, Quite, quite a neat way of showing you like the different colors I'm making the different colors but yeah like I said in my kind of like pre um, pre play ramble um, it's got very much of a rethink vibe to it in that um, you have different colors and you're playing with the different colored lights so I do here make yellow okay so we'll combine these two to make yellow so put that there So, find the mirrors. See what this has to say. Its bounty traveled far and wide, yet many believed it was tainted with shadows. Yeah, I think I think uh, I have to say I think a speed up on that on the writing would be good. This land was once fertile 
and green. The deserts were once fertile and green, apparently. So... For some reason I thought the lights were coming from behind me, but let there be light. Achievement unlocked. Okay. What we got here then? Is there a way to... Is there a way to open that? Oh wow, okay. So... I don't know if that's just a different mirror I picked up. Okay, so... So mirrors can be any height. Also, I've just noticed that um, quite a cool, quite an interesting feature, actually. Um, I didn't notice it before, but the mirror actually turns the color once you hit the laser beam. So we should... Uh, Definitely keep that in mind. Alright. Well, let's soldier on. Canifa ordered the construction of the pyramid. Man, I'm already good at translating. We wise men altered the plans. We had to think in reverse okay so we've got a prism here so the prism okay so so the prism refracts the light basically so you can rotate it Quite good that you can look at the beam end, that's quite a nice little feature. Okay, so I think what to then like swap this round maybe no because it always comes out the same way all right in that case have we got any more mirrors have we got any more mirrors we have not Okay, so I could mean I could do something like this, but but without that in there, I got no way of pointing that over to there. 
is why I kind of wondered whether I could swap it round. Okay, I can swap it around. I have to say that's a little bit clunky, but... somewhere, right? No one was allowed to see the plants. Yeah. I don't know, I just I just kind of thought with the with the prisms here, Hanky, I thought that um, so I thought about like you should be able to put it in a different way or something making the player like rotate it like that way on axis just doesn't make sense to me I just I don't, it's, it's difficult to explain but it doesn't to me that doesn't make sense back with these colors now are we all right so then I gotta surely I'm gonna have to reflect blue in somewhere so I can do red because I've got two mirrors I assume that's what I need to do. Also, I find this with a lot with um, like Unreal Engine games. There's always, 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 always. Um, there's, there's always like draws in games, and they don't actually do anything. Oh man, see what I mean about the rotation? It's it's just easier sometimes just to like stop with stop the mouse and like reorient the axis. Which I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure I agree with. I'm mean, not. I think I'm not going to use blue. Uh, if they had a system similar to Tower Slazers, you could place a connector. Yeah. But then, I guess, in their defense... I do need blue. All right. I guess in their defense, um, they're kind of trying not to do Talos, right? I just think with... If these lasers are such a core mechanic of the game, I just feel like they should have been like less clunky to use. Um, where was that thing? That's there. Oh, I didn't want to pick it up. Yes. Hey, Mr. Spider. How are you doing? It's got a spider who's just like, just chilling. He's just like, come down from the ceiling. He's like, hey, hey, knock. Uh, I kind of want to be. Oh, that's interesting. That's that feels a lot easier. So that's the um, beam end mechanic. 
which kind of felt a bit easy to use. So maybe we'll try and use that a little bit more. But, um, all right. So, another level down. We're on 7 of 18. There are um, hidden bonus levels as well, apparently. So, to keep our eye out for those. So, I'm guessing that's going to open that. Okay. Is there an achievement for, like, killing so many scorpions? Going back up, Mr. Spider? Alright. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. I think it's too dark. Mm. Alright, so, as predicted, that opens this. Kanifa was tall, and those who he had heard, sorry, his voice were not themselves. Alright, so he had a ability to, um, seems like he had an ability to manipulate people. Looks so unreally. Is that a... I have a hunch here. That... I'm going to need to... Shine this through here. But it needs to be lower. Yeah, I think that's... Um, I think you tend to get that a lot with Unreal games. In my experience of playing with them. Or playing them, sorry. Kind of like what I okay, so I need to get these beams to intersect. Alright, there we go. Kind of like what I said earlier on about like the um um the um boxes. Unreal, Unreal games always have boxes and they just have nothing in them. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Oh, so we've got water now. So I guess red to red is just going to reflect refract red, right? What did I do? Yeah, pre-made assets. I was kind of expecting this to refract into two. Hmm. 
Oh, hold on. Just give me a mirror. And then use this mirror to in like that there. Alright, we're still not done. Hey, where'd you go, Scopin? Come back here. Oh, so hold on. If I now don't need to do that, how am I going to get... Okay. You know what I need to do here. I think... I don't want to do something like this. Really hard to judge that oh, I can't because uh, I can't take that. I, I kind of feel like I need to now point this. Besides the shiny side, this side. I feel like I need to use this one to. Aim it there, but it's really hard to sort of set that up. What have I got here? If that's what I meant to do, then it's, um... I don't feel like it's implemented very well. The thing is, though, once you, once you rotate it, the controls then go back to front. So, it's actually pretty hard to, unless you stop rotating and re-rotate. I don't know, still, they're still back to front. Did I miss a mirror in this side somewhere?
Because I feel like what I need to do is I need to... Shine that onto a mirror. trying to think so all I want to do is turn that onto a mirror but point this over here so I can actually reposition the the prism better does that make sense Kind of it. I have to say though, at the minute it just kind of feels like one of those really aggravating like laser redirection puzzles that you'd get in a community chamber. I mean, that's just on the assumption that I'm doing this right. I, I don't know if I am. Doing it right, of course. Alright, so that's what I wanted. Then I can take this mirror. And now that we have a bit of a better place... So not in the light. Okay. But that's going to need to be. be more here, isn't it? Um, you know the problem now, though, don't you? Matters here. Hits it.
but how on earth am I meant to do that? Unless... Can I go longer with this, maybe? makes more sense yeah that makes loads more sense oh my goodness I'm not even touching anything uh something has gone wrong with my controls That was weird. That was kind of like I was in water, but I wasn't in water. Alright, so this has got to... Alright, so surely this one... They're so difficult to see. Um, 
kind of want this kind of here. What I want to do is I want to set this up so I can take this mirror with me. So when you use the look at beam ends, it's not even like the right thing I'm looking at. It's uh, interesting to say the least. Of course, that's too much. That's where I want that to be. Okay, then I want to do... I'll use this one, actually. So I want this to intersect the other one. So I need it to go... A touch lower. Try that. Okay. Sectin. Um. And of course, that's like marginally off. All right, so we have that. That gives us the yellow. I can take this one. need that one so now I can use my prism turn that upside down Oh my 
goodness. Did, did I do that right? Did I do that right? I don't know. That just seemed... From, from what we've done up to that point, like that puzzle right there, that was kind of like a massive difficulty curve. That was quite complicated in comparison to the previous ones. I don't know if I did that right. I, I can't see any other way to do it. I feel that you'd need two mirrors in there to be able to correctly reflect the green laser. Okay, well, onwards we go. Um, there's literally two achievements for this. Okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. As the architect had warned, the land began to with the Interesting that, like, I had that lined up, but then the angle, I, I don't know, I, d is that how it works? Is that how light works? Like, I had that lined up to hit there, but because I then did that, it kind of, like, completely changed the angle of light. It's bizarre. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm not very sciencey, so maybe that's how light and stuff does work, but... I don't know. Just seems to be weird to me. Uh, anywho, moving swiftly on. Uh, This is going to give me another mirror. Is there a crouch button? But yeah, my point was, um, my point was, so I don't think I was making a point, but I kind of feel that this one's kind of, in comparison to the last one, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's definitely the, yeah, so I know this is like introducing the concept of like three, three colours technically, but comparing this one to the previous one there's um it's taken a bit of a bat step in difficulty so anyway uh i think that's halfway point right yes that is the halfway point 
Right, so moving swiftly on. Should probably start standing on the scorpions now, I don't need to stand on them. Carnifers treasure was the greatest of all. All gold was his. Some weird, like, weird stuff. I keep seeing, like, some white blocks every now and again. I don't know if it's lighting or what's going on there, but yeah. Some weird stuff going on with the lighting, it seems. Weird bits and pieces going on. I don't know what's going on. But something weird is definitely happening. Maybe it's just my... Uh, my machine. Mummy's kind of got a... weird light behind it. Can I, uh... Okay, I think that's just a window then. I'm not sure I can get into there at the minute. But okay. Yes, yeah, definitely some weird things going on with the lighting. I mean, this is only the beta version of the game, so benefit of the doubt and all. Okay, so. Oh, that looks pretty cool, then. I'll give it that much. Should we see what's behind door number three, actually? Alright, so we have two misses. Two misses. Two misses. We got two misses, guys. Two misses is what we have. Alright, so. Feeling we're gonna want to do. No, maybe not. Also, the hitbox on the lasers. I mean, I'm not gonna complain because it's it's quite nice to have it like that for convenience. But you really, there's quite a large hitbox on these. Um, there is quite a large hitbox on these. Um, yeah, okay, so what I need to do then is I need to take the green through here. So we'll put a prism here. And we'll do that there because we need to go through there. And it's going to need to be more like here.
But green's gonna need to go through there. Like that. So. That's the problem, though, isn't it? It's like the. Unless. Hold on. Not a problem at all. I can still do this. So let's place one on here. And we'll take one of these. Yeah, there we go. And we can hit all three at once. Slide blue is green and blue. It's got green. So we want to set our prism up here, like something like that. say where we're using pair but we're using it with the prism it's fine it's fine <coughs> excuse me so that uh, my scroll came in handy after all we wise men used crystal glass to fit Filter. I'm you not. Uh, excuse me. Amun Amunra's light. So. Okay. So like I th I was I was thinking previously on the like the last level. We can use. Maybe. Yeah, so I thought um, in the last level, I mean, maybe it was, but we were reflecting green through it. I thought that if we put the, the light through the screen, it would give us a different one. Uh, when I tried a different color, though, from green, I think earlier on in the level, it um, didn't really do anything. It just sort of blocked the light, I thought. So, uh, but okay. So now we've got glasses to contend with. We got any prisms or anything to use? People were hearing strange whispers in the dark. All right, so we need blue to exit. People started to disappear. It is said that Kanifa came from above. I, I think it's the same. Is this the same asset used here as well? Okay, there are a few. I have seen that one before, though. 
so I feel, I feel like it would be nice if um, there, was, there was like different ones and it wasn't exactly the same uh, just for a bit more realism just a little tiny thing um, so this is quite this feels quite a chore if I'm honest like, I have to keep walk through here I'm not really sure why you couldn't have just like provided a walkway straight through there and why you have to send the player around there. Seems a bit of a Seems a bit of a long way to send the player. But it is what it is. So Okay, I think I gotta send one dark blue, I think, don't I? Dark blue to the wind. I need green here. So I mean the obvious thing here to do, I don't know if this will work, but the obvious thing here would be to uh, blue and yellow. So, this creates white light, but it's just the, I think what would be better to do actually is to redirect this one into this mirror here. Do I, wait, do I not even need the blue one? Okay. So, yellow turns into green. Okay, well, didn't expect that if I'm honest. Uh, okay, so to make blue, I'm gonna make some blue. Uh, blue. things here. Does it already go through? See, it doesn't go through. <laughs> Colours annoy me sometimes. So that's making purple, right? So do I need to send the blue through? What happens if I send the blue through? There instead. I can understand now why the the, uh, the, the map is the way it is in that you've got to walk all the way around here. Okay, so blue will remain through there. So I think I just need to get a better position on this one, right? So if I just did this, right? To say there. I 
No one goes through there like that. And surely that's it, right? If I need to I need blue. saying before about big hitbox on these these buttons and then it takes me ages to freaking work it out so I guess so I guess if I, I'm not, I mean again I'm rubbish with colors but I guess if you put a color through a filter and the color makes that color so I uh, blue and red make purple, so I put the blue through the purple, it just nullifies the red. And lets the blue go through. I guess this is... This is one of the parts of, um... Like, the witness that I never... I really struggled with quite a bit, was the, um... I we on, 12. Um, was, like, the colour puzzles, and, like, mixing the two colours together. I kind of really struggled with that bit on Talos, but... Anyway... Do not take the treasures, for they are cursed. And keep Kanifa from coming back. All right. Well, you know we're going to take the treasures. Obviously. I do like in places that there are like um, these. I wonder, if I, can, I wonder if I can get rid of this somehow. Treasure. This room almost looks like a carbon copy of the other room. I guess this is where like the the multiple endings come into play. So the game did say that there was multiple endings. I bet if you take all the treasure then you get wrecked. So what's the point of all the other stuff? I suppose you have to use the other route if you don't take the treasure. So I guess this is where the game splits. So yeah, the, the game did originally say that there was two endings. But, yeah, we, we took the treasure. Of course we're going to take the treasure. We're not going to come all this way and not take the treasure. The pyramid was secretly modified by the wise men. No, by the architect. Kanifa uses 
Amanuraz. Oh, we're in water again. Uh, we feel like we're in water again. Alright, I, I seem to have stopped it. I seem to have fixed it. Some weird stuff goes on with the, the movement occasionally. I don't know. The light of a manuran manura brings the shadows. Uh, I'm not in control again. Definitely needs fixing. Probably gonna need. Uh... Oh wait a minute! What if I do it through here? Oh, so that just kills that, so we can't use that for anything. where I can hit both. I don't think I can, can I? But I can do this. Maybe. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, it seems like when you interact with some of them signs, it just absolutely um, screws everything over. right to uh, rotate that at least. Where's that light coming from exactly? Take that. All right, so I guess here I've got to get the um I need a light to come in here. But I can't go through there. Huh. 
How do I get up there? Could take that. I feel like I need to take the prism through here, though. So do I get the? Okay. So if I need to take the prism through here, I'm missing a piece. do that so I don't know I just feel like I'm missing a piece so we're gonna get up to the top there and shine that down into there from up that bit that's what that little window's there for Showing that over there do anything different. Let's find out. Well, because there's the red light there. Not really sure. What it is you want me to do here.
Just like I'm not really sure how I'm going to get. Not really sure how I get up into that top area. I mean, I guess it's one of these doors, right? Alright, so I, hold on. So I need to get blue through here. It's blue's clues, boys. Green gets blocked. So I don't get it.
I can only assume this one takes the... I assume this door here takes me up to the top, right? But I've got to be able to... Like, hit that one there. Because then I can bring the prism through this door here. So I've got to open this first. So how do I get blue into here? Because that just blocks all light. The sh the, that's like the shadow mirror, I'm going to call it. And that just blocks all the light. So, the only thing I can think is that I bring the, um, I bring the prism through to that side. Sorry, what level is I was on? 13. But you see, the problem with this is that it goes through there and it removes the green. That fills the green out, so. I don't get it. I'm not ashamed to say. Do I need to bring the other one out? Possibly. Bring this one out. So it gives us two mirrors and a prison. That blocks the green now, so that's no good. Can I like...
All right, but what good does that do? I'm confused. <sighs> Green and blue is needed to open that. But you can't see green and blue together. I thought it was shift to do that laser beam, but it's not. It's um, it's spacebar, and it works really well actually. Why does that keep? I don't understand. Green doesn't go through. Um, I don't know what to do here. Because my gut feeling is I need to get the blue first into that other side. Can I get this in like a decent place, please?
I just don't understand how I'm meant to get... Unless I can do something with the red that I've not really picked up on yet. Cut up that game. Don't tell me I can't do that now. there. I mean, that'll give me red on that side. But it's not red that I need. See, that's the blue door, right? I'm... Which means the other door, which is the green. The green door will take me upstairs. But I need the blue door open first. And... So... See, that's the problem.
That's the problem I'm not understanding is... If I've got to use... If I've got to get green... Red and white will make pink. As I said before, the, the the difficulty curve of this just seems to have like gone ridiculous. There's only one thing I can think to do at the minute. is it you've got to make blue so blue is made by pink and light blue. But <sighs> pink is made by red and white. I don't get it. I just, I just don't. I don't get this at all. Not with the. If there was more. Well, the clear glass stops the light, Hanky, so um, you can't actually use the clear ga glass.
yeah it just absolutely kills it so you can't shine things through this clear glass see what I need to do is that's why I feel like I've just missed I've just not picked up something I feel like I need to open this because this will allow me to go through to the other side once I'm through to that side I believe I need to set this up without the prism so I can bring the prism into here shine the white light into the prism which will give me the green to open up this that will allow me to go upstairs and I can point the red laser then out through through the little window into the final bit and then reposition. But... Okay. Yeah, alright, well. I just wasted. I don't know how long. At least I was right with what I needed to do. Uh, I don't know. I I could I could I could see it. So I'm not sure that is the case, Hanky. I think it's just a case of me being stupid and not looking around enough. But. <laughs> punishes you for taking the treasure no I don't know how I feel about that I, I, I don't know I think it probably should be more obvious that where things are I mean maybe I'm just saying that because I've been struggling for like what 20 minutes half an hour trying to find something to do so I guess I don't know. I feel I like with this one that the, the difficulty I said I felt earlier on that the difficulty had like increased tenfold, but I actually think it's not so much that the difficulty increased, it was just that the difficulty is in finding the pieces. So I don't know, had I been more observant then maybe I'd have found it a bit quicker then I just guess I'm frustrated myself at the minute I should have taken all of like two minutes to do
All right, well, on to the next. Uh, 14 of 18. I guess. Oh, there's snakes. The path shall clear for those who carry Amunar Amunanra's light. Amunas Amunar Amun Amunra's light. I don't know. Pronunciation ain't my thing. You guys know that. So I think this this was actually spoiled for me in the trailer that I watched. All right, so snakes do kill me. There is death. So, I have a horrible feeling I have a horrible feeling that there's a piece hidden somewhere in here. I mean, what else can I do? Other than... How are you supposed to get across there? I don't know where I can position. So I don't really know where I can position this. I mean, how am I supposed to do anything now? 
I don't understand. I, I thought about can I stand on like the feet of these like statues and these columns here, but that's not a thing. She says the path shall clear for those who carry the light. But I mean, we can't physically carry the light. I don't see that we can jump much though, because the ceiling's really low, right? They've purposely put a low ceiling in here, so you can't just jump across. I can't jump. So that... So I can do that. I get that. But then... This is why I kind of thought that there would be like a pickup underneath the snakes. Because then I could carry one with me. And... I could carry one with me. I just don't see a way that I can jump across these platforms. I don't get it. So 
the laser is hitting me, will it repel the snakes? Alright, well let's try that, Hanky, because... You know what? I ain't got no better ideas right now. Oh my goodness. Good shout, buddy. Oh, but why? Alright, so now explain to me why that has now... I can't walk too quickly either. Why is that? Why did that go down? I just think you, you, you're not allowed to go very quickly. There is a walk button though, so if you use the walk button. Even if you use the walk button, you still go too quickly. I guess that audio cues kind of to tell you when you're nearly dead. So I'm not a pro I'm not a big fan of that mechanic. On the next level. Nope, still fourteen. Oh my goodness. we got here the doomed architect learned the horrible truth he saw the Messenger that awaits on the threshold. By order of Carnifa, the architect was buried alive under the pyramid. Oh, under the green house. Oh boy.
Not sure I want to take any of these yet because uh Oh. Of course there's snakes. Okay, there's some invisible barrels here. Can I get up there? If I can get up there, I could probably skip this snake bit. I don't think I can, though. Well, that's unfortunate. I quite like the setting of this, it's quite nice. I was going for the. Uh, I like as well that it just like puts you straight back where you were when you die, if you die. But yeah, I quite like this environment. It's quite nice. Because you kind of like the the feel that you are right in the middle here of a uh, pyramid. Now I assume there's fall damage. I, I don't really know. I can't even jump down there. There's an invisible wall. Okay. Aha! Well, that's going to help, for sure. So, I need a mirror. Looks like I need a mirror. So, I've got to go back to the top. I think what I'll do is I'll leave one green. I'll leave one point on that other thing and then I'll take the others. So... Yoink. Uh, yoink. Seems like a sensible thing to do. I get the impression that there is no fall damage on this. Green. 
Yep, there it is. A little literal greenhouse, indeed. Uh, blue. Okay, there's something over there. Guy won't be mad with me. That's much as for sure. Right, so how do I get? Right, so I don't need that green there. All right, so let's go back again. Um, we'll take that other one. So we'll just leave the one up here. There must be a prism somewhere, though. Oh, there is a prism. Of course, it's there. So wait a minute. If I got to... Ooh, okay. That's going to bring me out here, though. So I'm just interested to see... Secret treasure. So that I have this. I should be able to then... I've got two mirrors I can redirect the green. I think. Too much. I have a feeling that's not the right way to go. Just take that, alright? We don't need that there anymore. Kind of looked like a secret, but actually... like you actually needed to have done it, so... I think so. I think, I think at one point I'm going to have something chasing me. Um, and the reason I say that is because I did see something on the YouTube trailer. 
which kind of looked like a big monster was kind of going to be chasing me, so we'll see. that stays there now. Interesting. So it literally that doesn't make sense though, because when we was doing the snake level before, like the very like the introduction to the snakes things, um every time we died, the thing went back to where it was before. Right? So that just seems inconsistent. Also, can't actually see what I'm doing. Just saying. Take this and That's actually pretty clever. But again, they're just kind of like... It's almost like laser redirection puzzles that we would normally kind of hate and curse in Portal, I feel. Of course. I don't 
I don't understand though why now the things are staying. This is what's kind of frustrating about this is that you can't actually see which way the laser where the laser's pointing to. So for a lot of the time it's just kind of like blind look, blind faith that you're kind of walking in the right direction when the laser's behind you. Uh, also hmm. Uh, okay. So how am I supposed to... Should I have brought the prism with me? No, because I needed the prism. So if I don't have the prism, I can't shoot the green laser down here, can I? Right. Uh, regards to the like, walking backwards, Hanky, I'm pretty sure I tried that and it was just like into death. Maybe wrong. I was still in the light, the path of the light. Now I've got to start back here, of course. Of course. Makes perfect sense, of course. Perfect sense. Sure, that this is going to make much of a difference. I think that that would like point through to actually that might work. Oh, man, if if that is what I have to do, that is like an absolute stupid angle. That angle is ridiculous. Yeah, green grass. Easy for me to say. But the green grass will... Green grass. Green glass will turn this green. But I'm thinking... Don't do it. I I was just wondering, is there an angle there that they're expecting me to like really tightly put that through? Yeah, I'm in the light. I shouldn't be dying.
Okay, well, I, I thought that would go through. All right, I apologize. I thought that that would go through and it would turn green. Well, my bad. So, in that case, our survey says, I don't know. Yeah, okay. That would that would make sense. But what we gotta do here is somehow I think I gotta point this light near to the red. So I, I have a hunch that there's something near red. I think to get in there, I need the green thing, don't I? I think when we looked at that before, we need green. So, I'm not sure how I'm meant to do this then, at the minute. Because to get across there, right, I'm going to need another glass mirror. Which So the only thing I But then what would that the point of that area be? I think the only thing I can think then is is if we use the prism down there, right? And the controls on, the, on some of these things are, are just, uh, also, uh, I, th I think I just broke it. I don't think this should happen. Pretty sure that door should be shut. Just saying. Broke it.
We certainly broke it, boys. If this was another stream, there'd be an emote for that. Definitely animation's hilarious. I kind of understand it. I can't. Is that not in the path of the prison? Um, we've got that weird. Um, got that weird. We're, we're we're in water, but we're not in water thing going on again. Yeah, that's uh That's a big uh we're broken right there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Here's what I want to do. I want to go down here. And I want to set the prism here. Why, why could I stand there before, but I can't stand there now? I don't get it. Was I not just stood there a moment ago? Let's put that there. I just don't know why that it's that weird thing with movement and it's just like it's almost like it's just pushing you. There's just nothing you can do about it. Again, there we go. It's pushing me again. I can't actually move forwards. 
Alright. Alright, so we're right across here. I can walk across here. Then that's not low enough, is it? Sorry, I mean I bet that's too low, isn't it? way to get back over here though now I'm stuck in that stupid oh, what causes it that's a big thing though they need to fix that before this is released all right so now we're in here snakes okay Why can I not walk off this ledge? So... You have to walk, like, in a pinpoint line. Your line has to be pinpointed. How did you deviate off your line? Jeez. Yeah, I. It seems a. It's a very silly mechanic. I agree, Hanky. So. Is there anything else over here? Get both red and green over here. Oh, 
Was that stupid bug again? So I'm thinking I'm going to have to put a laser right in the middle of here to send the red across. Course. We're not allowed to deviate off the path in the slightest because doing that results in death. <sighs> God. And then that stupid walking bug pushes me back. So, you know how I spoke at the beginning of the stream about if there are enemies in this game, I'm using them wisely and that they're not going to punish the player. I think we know the answer to that conversation now. It's ridiculous. Now go all the way across here again because you know, let's punish the player because the game keeps kicking me out. Makes perfect sense. I'm walking backwards even harder than walking forwards. Jeez. You know what? You can't make this up. Holy crap. Alright. I think I am done because for tonight, just for tonight, I'm done for tonight because um, I'm really starting now to get frustrated with this. So I think it's probably a good time to stop for tonight. Um, I don't play many Unreal Unreal game, Engine games, so I honestly don't know. Then console might be to say, "What's going on, subs? Welcome along to the torture that is this game." 
how did your uh, how did your how did your resi runs finish, man? The torture sounds awesome. The torture is not awesome. Alright, I've still got a. It's like you can't. Five times in a row. GG, my man. What time did you. Uh, what are you. Did you get your sub. I ah, you didn't get it in the 55s. That's a shame. But no, that's good, man. Five PBs in a row is good consistency. Yeah, so this is a game called. Lumina um, releases on a week as yesterday on the 9th of September um, and I was asked if I'd like to cover it like to play it and uh, this, this walking backwards bug look it's just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous <laughs> no, I, I had it in my head, Hanky. I did have it in my head. I can't even pick up any of these mirrors now without like this walking bug kicking in. That's there. That gives me a blue one. Boy, this is getting involved. I really hope this thing has a safe, like safe spot, good safe spots. Still not like really very good with the f whole freaking movement thing though. Yes, yeah, this looks like it's getting really freaking complicated now. So I can't do anything now until I got a prism. Chances are now I've got everything so fucking close together. Excuse my language. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to do anything anyway with the freaking blue. Oh, man. Can I, like, redirect the blue off somewhere else, maybe? Only if I don't be a flit about it and put it, like, Directly where it doesn't want to be. Uh, yeah, it's more like um, there's a game called uh, Rethink. Which is basically the same sort of thing. You get light and you get cubes and you can split it off into different bits and pieces. So it's it's based very similar to that. Wait, how did... Oh, of course, I'm still in the freaking way of that, am I? Because of course I am. How is... Right, how... How is that door open? How How is this door open right here? Last time I checked, this is green. That needs yellow. What? What's going on, poor Ponku? 
this is a game called Illuminate. It comes out next. Uh, it comes out on Wednesday. And um, oh my goodness, we are. I don't know. We're, we're starting to get a bit frustrated. I think is the. Uh, Goodness. The actual colour stuff isn't so bad. Alright, well, I'm going to save because I think... I think I, I need to call it a day, and um, we will come back to this tomorrow because we've got uh, only four. There are only four more levels to go after this. Um, so yeah, that's Lumina. We'll be back playing it tomorrow, finishing it off tomorrow, finishing our review. Um, have to say, at the moment, I probably wouldn't recommend this game. Um, it seems that there are... I know it's still like got a week or so to be released, but there's like a lot of bugs. Um, the whole snake mechanic is really frustrating. The whole, um, I'm going to put you in a, a backwards run and just screw you over mechanic um, bug is really annoying. Um, a lot of it's very close quartered. I think, I don't know how, but I just feel like the mirror and the adjustment movement mechanics could be a lot better. But, um, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it, the rest of it goes tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, though. I appreciate the support. Um, until then, have a great evening. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.